Saturday, October. Don't remember the date. <laughs> but uh, I have the new inverter installed. Show you a picture of it here. Well, not a picture, but it's an MS4024 PAE. All I had to do is uh, change the dip switches on these two controllers right here for 24 volts, which was pretty easy. Just move one switch. All you do is take the cover off, move the switch, put the cover back on, you're done. So I'm running the uh, garage right now off the system. Uh, the lights are on, as you can tell. All the lights. And uh, we're only pulling about two amps off the, this remote. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll put the light on. If I can... Oh, the light won't come on. I really like that. But anyways... That's it. Uh, mission accomplished. I rearranged my batteries. They're wired uh, 24 volts now. Eight golf cart batteries, which are wired in uh, two banks of four instead of four banks of two, because you need four six volt batteries for 24 volts. So that's it. So going to have to change this um, controller, my diver diversion load, because uh, it's still set at 12. I have to remove the panel, move the dip switch for 24 volts. That's it. But I can't run my 12 volt wind turbine. I'll have to, uh, well, don't have to, but next, whoa, next year, uh, that was a cat scared the crap out of me. Hey, kitty. Anyways, that's it for today. But I wanted to show you one more thing here. Um, here's the other rectifier for the other wind turbine. I'll be showing you another video uh, in the summertime when I uh, put the other tower up and the other wind turbine, which is exactly the same as the one I have right now. So have a good day, and thanks a lot. Give me a thumbs up if you want, and subscribe if you want. Till then, see you next video. Bye now.